Hey guys, welcome back. For today's video, I have this everyday fall makeup tutorial. I've been wearing this look so much lately on an everyday basis whenever I wanna do my makeup, if I'm going to class, if I'm filming on the weekends, in my past couple of videos, I've been wearing this look and so many of you guys have been asking me about it and it's super simple and I love it. So I know that this is kinda of like a lot for some people for every single day, but you can obviously do things to your own liking, take away the lashes, take away the highlighter, whatever you like, but I love this look and I like it because because it's a little bit more glam than just a traditional no makeup makeup look but it's still wearable for every single day so I also do show you guys three different lip options that you could do with this look you can obviously do an endless amount of lip colors with this because of how neutral it is you can literally wear anything and it will look good with the eyes for the most part I've been rocking these eyes for I want to say almost two months at this point like since the end of August I've been wearing like this eye look and I don't know if I just said that but some days I will do eyeshadow with it other days I'll just do one color on the lid which I'll show you in the video the only thing that I really tend to switch out a lot are my face products when it comes to like an every single day basis like one week I'll wear like the same products and then another week I'll like switch them up just you know to try out new things but for the most part the eyes literally the same exact thing like I've been wearing this look non-stop so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of it down below. And if you want to see how to get this completed look, then just keep watching. Okay, so first things first, I'm starting off with the NYX First Base Primer Spray. I love this so much. It's amazing. And I'm just going to do this before I do my face makeup. That way, by the time I do my face makeup, everything is nice and absorbed into my skin. So, I'm going to start off with the eyes. I'm using the NYX Above and Beyond Coverage Concealer in the shade Beige. I'm taking this with a brush and just applying it all over my lid. Some days I'll use concealer. Other days I'll use like a regular eye primer. Just anything that's going to conceal any veins or discoloration because I'm not going to be using too much eyeshadow so I want to make sure everything looks really just like like all like one color so I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend that in and I'm gonna take my Anastasia modern Renaissance palette and I'm starting off with the color golden ochre and I'm just gonna be applying that all over my lid using this big fat blending brush from elf and I love this shade because it's a little bit darker than my skin tone but it's not too dark but it still gives the look a little bit of a wash of color without being like too intense so I love it I'm gonna take some sticky tape just to apply this to the outer edges of my eyes. That's all the shadow I'm gonna be doing today. It's super simple. So I'm taking the brown shade right at the top on an angled eyebrow brush from Royal and Lang Nickel, which you can find at Walmart. And I'm just gonna be doing a traditional wing. Now I've been doing this so much lately because I feel like it's perfect for every single day. It's not as harsh as regular liquid black liner and I think it looks really pretty. And some days I'll use like a really dark gray color for the shadow and other days I'll do like black but I really think brown is my favorite I think it makes my eyes look more open more awake and if you guys struggle with winged liner try out this method it's super easy especially when you have tape to do the wing and if you mess up it's a lot easier to clean up than if you do like gel or liquid liner so I just love this method it's really soft and pretty for every day but you still get a nice cat eye with the tape you can see when I pull off the tape it just looks like eyeliner but not as harsh so I just love it definitely try it out and send me pictures if you guys do and try out any of my looks I always love seeing the recreations you guys do so I'm gonna be applying some coats of mascara this is the wet n wild max volume plus and you can totally leave your lashes regular but I'm gonna be a little extra and apply falsies these are the kiss number 11s of course they are my faves Whew, I'm out of breath already I'm just using the Kiss Eyelash Glue, by the way, which is also my favorite, and just popping those on and then moving on to the face. I'm using the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I'm going to be doing a whole review, like a drugstore update on all the products that I recently purchased so you guys can see like how I really feel about them. I've been using this lately and I do like it. It's really good at smoothing out my face and just making it super soft. So today for BB Cream, I'm using this one by Wet n Wild in the shade Medium Deep, which you can see is not medium deep at all. This is like so light. I wish they had more shades because I really do love this BB Cream. It's really pretty on the skin, very natural, and I feel like it's like a medium coverage, well, light to medium, not any more than that it's definitely not like a full coverage foundation or anything but it's perfect for every single day because when you layer this it doesn't get really cakey and gross looking on the skin which I love so today for my under eyes I'm using the hard candy instant eye fix under eye treatment I mentioned this in my first impressions video and I mentioned that I didn't really think that it did anything but looking back at the footage 
The eye that I didn't use this, you could see that it looks a lot more puffier than the eye that I did use this with. So I do like this. I think it's really good for puffiness under the eyes and I love how cooling and refreshing it feels. So it doesn't have as much coverage as the Pixi Under Eye Corrector, but for what it's worth, I really do like it so far. So then for concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium. I definitely want to go down a shade because this doesn't give me as bright of a look as I like it, but I still love this concealer. It's so full coverage really creamy I think I think I like it a little bit more than the Too Faced Born This Way concealer just because I like the coverage of this one better but they're both like amazing they're definitely like my top two concealers at the moment I'm obsessed with them so I'm just applying this everywhere and then just blending that out of course you can see how just blendable and creamy it is oh it's just absolutely amazing definitely worth the money and I just love the consistency of it everything about the concealer is bomb so to go ahead and set that I'm using the Air Spun Loose Face Powder I'm just going to tap off the product onto the lid and then I just take my beauty blender and dip it directly onto the product and just like bake my underneath my eyes but I'm not doing it for too long because I feel like the longer I do it the more creepy it looks under my eyes and just very dry so I do it for like two or three minutes and I just apply it pretty much all over my face and then I take a big fat blending brush this one is also from Royal and Lang Nickel and I just set the rest of my face because I really do like the powder but the smell kills me it is really strong but it does go away um, after a couple minutes but it is super strong so just keep that in mind if you are using this powder so then I'm gonna go back into the same palette I'm gonna pick up the color burnt orange and I'm just gonna be applying this underneath my lower lashes just because I do get a little bit of like wrinkly lines under there and I feel like applying shadow under my lower lashes just kind of prevents that well, not prevents it but it kind of diminishes the appearance of them so then I just take a creamy eye coal this one is by Maybelline it's in the shade nude and I'm just gonna line my waterline some days I'll do black brown or this color it just depends on what I'm feeling and then of course I'm just gonna apply some bottom lash mascara and this is the same wet and wild one from earlier I make the ugliest faces when I apply makeup I swear so then to go ahead and contour I'm gonna use the Maybelline fit me powder in the shade coconut number 355 with a vanity planet contour brush I'm just gonna be applying this pretty much everywhere just to give myself just a natural contour um, and I know it's gonna look a little bit harsh at first but I promise you I'm gonna blend everything out per usual so don't worry and then then for blush, I'm using this one by Physicians Formula. This one's in the shade Natural. It, I love this blush. It's really pretty, and I like it more than what I expected, but the smell is also so strong. It just smells like a very like a grandma smell I mean you know like you know how grandma smell just like very strong so definitely is strong but I do love the color and then for highlighter today I'm gonna be using this one by Becca I just got this in the mail and I know my contour looks crazy but I promise I'm gonna blend it out uh, this one's in the shade what is this moonstone and it's a really light frosty shade so I'm gonna pop that in all over the tops of my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose and then I just take the same blush brush from earlier just to blend everything out so that it doesn't look super crazy and then the final thing I'm gonna do is just spritz my face again with the NYX first base primer spray just to lock everything into place okay so now moving into the lip options the first one you could do of course is a nude I'm using Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in the shade exposed I'm just gonna line and fill in my lips and then I'm gonna go over top of that with the Milani lipstick in the shade matte naked I love this combo it's really pretty and neutral but it's a little bit darker than just a traditional nude it looks good on so many different skin tones and you don't need anything underneath or over top because the lipstick formula is so comfortable and creamy I'm obsessed so the second option is going to be a little bit more bold so I'm going to take the Jordana lip liner in the shade tawny and I'm going to of course line and fill in my lips and then go over top of that with the Ofra long-lasting liquid lipstick in the shade hypno this is the collab that Manny MUA did with Ofra and I'm living for it it's absolutely beautiful it's a really deep vampy shade which I think is perfect for this look because the eyes are so neutral so the lips really stand out and look gorgeous so I'll leave my coupon code down below if you guys do want to check out Ofra liquid lipsticks they are my absolute favorite formula they're so comfortable and they have so many shades to choose from okay, so that is the second option now the third option is also really bold but I like it so I'm taking the Ofra lip liner in the shade orchid and I'm just gonna be lining and filling in my lips this is like a literally an orchid plum shade I love this on its own it's really pretty and over top of that I'm just gonna be taking the Milani lipstick in the shade uptown mauve I know another Milani 
Milani product. I just love their lipstick formula. It's just to die for. So you can see it's like a really gorgeous fuchsia bright color. And I know that this is kind of like a summery shade, but you can wear bright colors in the fall because there's no rules to makeup. So I just wanted to do something different and fun. So that does complete this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below which color was your favorite. Of course, mine is definitely the nude. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Bye!